keep you updated on the capital and financial markets, here is a recap of what happened. FIMM has reprimanded 15 former unit trust scheme and private retirement scheme consultants for their misconduct or breaches of the Federation's consolidated rules. These public reprimands are imposed to send a strong message that the FIMM will take action against those who fail to comply with any rules issued by the FIMM. This is to deter UTS and or PRS consultants from committing any misconduct and reminding them that it is crucial to observe the FIMM's rules when marketing and distributing UTS and or PRS in Malaysia to protect the interests of the investing public, the Federation added. Most Asian fund general partners prefer not to reject an investment due to sustainability concerns because they are confident they can create value by improving a company's ESG credentials. This is according to a report, Asia Fund's ESG report, from law firm Morrison and Foster in conjunction with private equity intelligence provider AVCJ. Although some fund managers outright reject investments if an ESG issue comes up during their due diligence, most do not, and instead see it as an opportunity to improve a company's valuation by encouraging better ESG practices. A sudden explosive growth in stock options trading in India this year has got the country's retail traders excited and regulators worried about the risks such speculative fervor could spawn. The boom in derivatives trading in the country's historically conservative markets, where some products such as stock futures are still too expensive, has come after stock exchanges changed some options contracts to facilitate quicker and cheaper bets and as online retail trading platforms mushroomed. Data from exchanges, which are big winners of this surge in demand, shows the daily average value of assets underlying these stock options more than doubled between March and October to 4.2 trillion US dollars. The ratio of the notional value of derivatives to cash trading is the highest in the world. India's Stock Market Regulator Securities and Exchange Board of India has so far not stepped in to curtail the trading but has issued warnings and said it is aware of the risks. Kenanga Investment Bank has launched its seventh annual Fraud Awareness Week with the theme of Embracing Disruption, Pioneering Change, and Unwavering Integrity. According to a statement on Wednesday, this campaign aims to combat fraudulent activities and promote ethical business practices, as fraud remains a persistent threat to businesses and communities worldwide, especially in this era of technological advancement. This comprehensive month-long fraud awareness campaign features a range of virtual programs, including the opening ceremony and the FAW Games, all while aligning with the United Nations Global Compact's 10th principle, which emphasizes the necessity for businesses to actively combat corruption in all its forms, said Kenanga. Increased retail investor appetite for actively managed investments continues to drive the expansion of fund managers with more players joining the industry. According to data from the Capital Markets Authority, five new fund managers have joined the scene in the 12 months to the end of September this year, while the markets regulator has approved the creation of 12 new unit trust products over the same period. The latest e-zine is now available for download at FIMM's official website. Download your copy today to keep up to date with what's going on in the industry. FIMM is pleased to announce the release of its annual report 2022 with the theme, In the Grand Scheme of Things. Visit FIMM's official website to download a digital copy. This has been the FIMM TV Weekly Recap. Be informed, stay updated. Be sure to like, share and subscribe.